Well, cool. So here we go. Now I have a y equals negative log base 6 of x. So now we're starting to create in some transformations. And we see, you know, when we have a function, uh, this is not a function, it's an equation, but um, whenever we're taking our, our family of functions, if we're multiplying um, our function by a negative value, we know that this is going to be a reflection of the x-axis. So when I'm completing these problems, and whenever I see transformations, I always like to write them out so I don't forget them. So let's go and look at a general parent graph. And then we'll see what, the, what uh, the graph is going to do. So the general parent graph of a logarithmic equation with any base, we know that's going to have a x-intercept at 1, 0. And it's going to look something like this, where my asymptote is going to be at x equals 0, my domain is from 0 to infinity, and my range is going to be from negative infinity to infinity. However, now you can see that I have a base 6. So I want to see you know, how, what is this base going to affect my graph. So to do that, we always can graph functions and equations by using a set of values. And what I always like to do is rewrite this in exponential form. And what I'm going to do is, without my transformation, so without that reflection, I'm going to rewrite it in, in exponential form. So therefore, it would be 6, uh, 6 to the y equals x. And I'll explain why I'm not going to deal with uh, my, tr my reflection when I'm finding the coordinate points. Because what I want to do is I want to find the parent graph, then I want to apply the transformations. So it's really important when you're graphing this to graph what the parent graph is going to be and then apply the transformations. So if I use the uh, exponential equation 6 to the y equals x, I'm, I'm going to have some coordinate points I'm going to want to graph. So I just create a table of values. And when I'm graphing, I just want to choose kind of two points. And the best two points that I always like to use is when is my x, when x equals 1 and when x equals my base. Um, sometimes we can, uh, uh, yeah, when x equals whatever my base can be. So when looking at this, if I have 6 raised to the y is equal to 1, so 6 raised to what power is going to equal 1? Well, we know that y is going to equal 0. And why do I write that? That's supposed to be a 6, right? That's the base. So my base is 6. So 6 raised to what power equals 6? That answer we know is going to be 1. So now I can plot these two points as my parent graph. So I have 1, 0. And I have 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1. So my graph, my parent graph, looks something like this. right? But now what we're going to do is we're going to apply the reflection. So ladies and gentlemen, if we're going to take this reflection, what we're going to do is we're going to reflect it over the x-axis. So if you look at a general reflection over the x-axis, it's going to look something like that. right? You're taking your graph and you're reflecting it over the x-axis. So my coordinate point at 1, 0 is still going to remain the same. But now my point 6, positive 1 is now going to turn over 6, negative 1. Then we can just simply take our eraser and just erase the original parent graph. And there, now we have graphed it with two, com two points, 1, 0, and 6, negative 1. And now we can go and look at our asymptote. Well, my asymptote hasn't shifted at all, so my asymptote is still going to be at x equals 0. My domain, you can see, is my graph is still going to be from 0 to infinity. I don't have any negative values for my domain. And my range is still going to go all the way up and then all the way down. So therefore, my range will still be from negative infinity to positive infinity. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you graph a logarithmic equation. Thanks.